Hey, I'm J.K. Black, and today I bring you a review of a book that I got, an e-arc book that I got from NetGalley in return for an honest review. So this is my honest review. Um, the book is called All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott Cat Sulis, and I've probably just massacred his name. Um, this is the picture. Hopefully you will be able to see it. So it's a nice yellow cover. Um, it The tagline at the top, might not be called a tagline, um, says, when every word has a price, her silence could spark a revolution. Now, this book, um, the main character is called Speth. As in rhymes with Beth, but instead of Beth, take the B off and put SP instead. Yeah. That's a really nice name. Now, in this world, um, in this dystopian world set in the future, um, every word is chargeable. Every word you say is chargeable. So the words I'm saying now, you know, I'd be wearing a cuff and I'd be being charged for the words that I'm saying. You know, which like, you know, some words would be cheaper and some, if I said something like um, spectacular, would be a lot, lot costlier. And, you know, in keeping with that, names, there's some names that are cheaper, like Speth, but the more common names of today, like, I mean, her brother is called Sam which is obviously a normal name, you know, that was a dearer name. Um, so, like, you know, names today would be dearer, but the sort of, like, weird, weird names are cheaper because, you know, these, pe you know, these people are being charged for what they say and what they use and, you know, they're very much controlled. Now, the whole society is charged for what words they use but obviously those that are rich can afford the charges so it doesn't you know it doesn't affect them but the poor people are very much um, subjugated and controlled by the rich people that run the system um, so it's Beth um, it starts off with it's her 15th birthday, I think it's her 15th birthday, and that's the cutoff because before that, children are allowed to speak as much as they want and they're not charged. But after that, they start getting charged. So she's just had a cuff put on, which is connected to Wi Fi, and um, she's supposed to make a speech, um, which has um, got loads of sponsors, and it's mainly about sponsors um, because the sponsors pay for for her words and it's just about you know it's not about her it's not about other young people that she's gone to school with it's just about the sponsors and um, being a, a mouthpiece for them and therefore they will pay for her words but and it says in the blurb you know um, one of her friends kills herself kills himself actually um, and everything is um, escalated and I must admit when I got to that bit I got a bit confused about how she got from the friend killing himself to um, the next step of her deciding that she wasn't going to do a speech that she was going to be quiet from now on she wasn't going to say anything you know because she wasn't going to she didn't want to do the speech and she didn't want to blah 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 and I had to reread that. So that is one thing in the review that, you know, uh, makes me lower the points, you know, the marks, the points, yeah, that I give, the score that I give for this book. Um, but once I'd reread it, I did get it near enough, I think. Um, it, it seemed to me a little bit too easy. Um, a a thing to do, um, no, not a thing to do, it just seemed too 
happen very easily and yeah there was people complaining but you know there didn't seem to be any comeback um and that is something that i felt towards the end this you know the the resolution of the novel came too easy you know she did something and then she said something and the world changed and it was like well yeah but what about that you're only in one city and there's these all these other cities that are doing the same thing and by destroying one thing surely they wouldn't have just the one they'd have lots of them so so i thought that it was a little bit easy um I'm not going to say anything more about the story, but it was um, it's written in first person, so it is quite you know a relatable character, and she is she is quite likable, but she's also a little bit weird. But because it's told in first person, we constantly, even though she's not talking, we constantly hear her voice, and she's her internal voice is very 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 eloquent. Whereas um, her external voice from 15 onwards would have been like very, very limited because obviously she would have been charged for every word she said. Um, so, yeah, I think I did like her. Um, I definitely liked um, the eloquence of her inner thoughts. Um, it's told in past tense. Um, so, obviously, you know, these things are in the past, sort of. Um, definitely um did i enjoy it yeah um i mean actually i mean like i said i got it as an e-arc but i actually found it because i've got um, a subscription with scribe um and i found it as an as an audiobook on that so i actually listened to it and i really really enjoyed listening to it and the voice you know her voice was very very good um would i recommend it yes definitely um, I think it's a really, really good book. I think that the author just needed to not simplify things so much. I think that she, you know, he did simplify things, and maybe that's the nature of. I think it's a YA book, so maybe it's the nature of YA. But YA isn't simplistic. YA isn't simplistic. You know, YA is complex and you know yeah it's just caught it, it by definition it is complex um you know i write ya so you know and i do try to make things quite complex without being really really complex say that but i'm not going to say what i'm saying about because i've got a solution in the thing that's actually probably more <sighs> But it's actually quite a cheeky solution in, in a book that I'm writing. But um, yeah, I think I think the author um, Gregory um, went for quite a s simple solution, and it was just too simplistic. It was too easy. You know, this had been happening for ages, and suddenly this girl had brought it down. And yes, I know that there's other dystopias where the girl brings it down, but it's you know like with Hunger Games. You know, she becomes um, a um, an image, and this and Speth does too. You know, other people start being silent, and you know, more and more start being silent and and backing her. But still, you know, this event, you know, became. Whereas, like Katniss, you know, she was used, but it's over three books, and I think that led for more complexity, and I think maybe. Maybe the author put too much in one book. I don't know if there's going to be any other books, but I just think that it was just a little bit too much of an easy answer. So I'm not sure if there's anything else that I can say about it, except for, yes, I did really, really enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yes, it was an easy answer, but that doesn't really detract from my enjoyment of it. Um, I enjoyed listening to it. Um, if I'd been reading it, I'm pretty certain I would have enjoyed reading it. So, yeah, if you can, if you want to read it, then go and get it. And I don't think it's probably that dear. 
um, I don't know, I mean obviously if you have Scribe, a, a contract with Scribe then you can get it because they have like um, unlimited ebooks and audiobooks in, you know, for the monthly price. So yeah, so um, that's my review um, and I will um, try to do some more. I've got some more NetGalley books, I've got three at the moment to read. Um, but I've also got um, an assignment to do for my masters, which I really need to do. So anyway, soon I'll be back. Okay, bye.